Hi, welcome to the Lighthouse of Awesome. I'm Michael, and today we're talking about the second book of the Confessions by Augustine. There's two primary paths that Augustine takes with this book. Uh, first, he talks about conflicting values between sexuality and education. And he talks about, secondly, um, evil for evil's sake from stealing pears. The sexuality is intriguing. I kept looking for something that was more than was there. Um, especially, there's this passage, least of all my father's, for when at the baths one day he saw me with unquiet adolescence as my only covering and noted my ripening sexuality. He began at once to look forward eagerly to grandchildren and gleefully announced his discovery to my mother. Sure, he had an erection, but it was the embarrassment over uh, Augustine was putting a new meaning to something that had happened probably many times before. And that is what his father was reacting to, that feeling and meaning. These things happen in people's past. These things happen in people's lives. And we move on from these things and we make decisions that are best for today. To be more productive, he probably should have been married off at that age and, you know, been a father, had children, and kind of followed his father's ambition. And I think his father had the right idea to be expressive about who you are and what you are and kind of go through the stages. And that's part of the learning process of being human. And I think one of the things that Christianity misses is it's a little repressive to, you know, adolescents, older children that are going through those changes. And the answer is, oh, this is out of bounds. This is something you can't look into. So he goes, ends up going to school and pursuing an education rather than pursuing love and connection and ambition. Then the second story is the stealing of the pears, which he and a friend got together, or friends, and raided a pear tree. Um, I think everybody at some point in time in their youth has raided a fruit tree for some fruit that they did not eat all of. In his older age, he realized how that was inappropriate. Um, it captured a heart, you know, destroyed some harvest and some money that uh, individual to own the tree was probably going to get. So that was book two. Thanks for watching and see you for, tomorrow for book three.